Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to connect Rust with MongoDB. Now I have some sample code for you and we'll go through it line by line. In the first few lines, we're importing necessary crates and modules from MongoDB, Environment, Error and Tokyo libraries. MongoDB, as you know, is used to interact with the MongoDB databases. ENV will be used to access environment variables. Error provides us with error handling capabilities and Tokyo is used for asynchronous runtime support in Rust. Now our main function is annotated with hash Tokyo main. This makes it the entry point for our program. And this also ensures asynchronous execution using the Tokyo runtime. Our main function returns result indicating either success or failure. And the error type is boxed, meaning it can represent any type that implements the error trait. This line retrieves the value of the MongoDB URI environment variable using environment var. If the environment variable is not set, it will cause a panic with a specified message. This code creates client options by parsing the MongoDB URI, which is now in client URI with a specific resolver configuration. It uses a resolver config Cloudflare to specify a resolver configuration. This configuration is provided by the Cloudflare DNS service. The await syntax is used to handle errors that might occur during the asynchronous operation. If an error occurs, it will propagate up and return from the main function with an error. This line creates a MongoDB client instance with the specified options. It tries to construct the client and returns an error if it fails. This line simply prints a message to indicate that the following lines will list the databases. Our loop iterates over the names of all the databases available in the MongoDB instance connected by the client. So client.list database names returns a list of database names. The none argument indicate that no filter is applied during the listing. The loop retrieves each database name and binds it to the variable name. This line prints each database name preceded by a dash. And this line returns OK indicating that the program completed successfully. You just have to go ahead and sign up or log in to your MongoDB account. And in my case, I'm using Google sign in. And here I already have a service created and a database. So all I have to do is go ahead and connect. And I will select the compass. I do, I do have a MongoDB compass installed. Uh, we need to select these options and then I'll select this connection string. So I'm not using MongoDB on my personal PC. I'm using a cloud version of MongoDB, which is on the cloud, which is provided by MongoDB Atlas, which is what I'm logged into. Now, to create a new uh, database, you just have to click on create new cluster, go through these options, just uh, select the free option. Don't select the, uh, the paid one if you're just testing around, so the free one. Uh, in my case, it's showing that I'll have to pay something because I already have an existing free cluster, so it gives you only one free cluster. So once you have that, once you have your query string or the connection string, you just have to uh, paste it like this somewhere safe. And what we'll do now is we'll go to our um, terminal and we'll simply export MongoDB URI. And just make sure this actually matches uh, this, which your code, code is expecting as an environment variable. So we're setting the environment variable right now. So for this MongoDB URI, there needs to be a uh, underscore here, and I will set the value equal to this value here. And here, I'll just go ahead and change the password. So you can also go ahead and change the password, and then we'll uh, and then just press enter with whatever password you've set for this user uh, in your MongoDB. Now I'm in my folder where I have uh, the code for the MongoDB project, Rust MongoDB project. I'll go ahead and just run cargo new, sorry, cargo run. And this should run the project for us. So it's listing out all the databases that I have in my MongoDB. Okay, so this is exactly what we wanted. And because in our code we have mentioned that we'll have uh, a, a, the, all the names preceded by a dash, that's how we get all the names with the dash. Now, so this video is going to be part of the 50 Rust Projects playlist series on my channel. 
And the way I've curated this series is that the easier projects are in the beginning and the more difficult projects are at the end. So in the beginning, you'll see projects like reading CSV files, extracting zip files, reading JSON files, all of these small things that you can do with Rust to build up your skill set. And in the, in, the, in the end, you'll see projects like full stack projects with Rust and building your own substrate blockchain and so on, okay? So that's how uh, I've arranged the videos in this playlist. Make sure you share it with your friends because uh, it's a completely free resource. And this video, uh, since it's a beginner level video, just connecting Rust with MongoDB will be towards the beginning uh, in this playlist. Now the other thing I wanna to talk to you about is this community that I have, the Discord community, which uh, where we discuss a lot about how to get jobs, what's latest in, uh, in, uh, in the tech industry, in AI, in blockchain, and all of that stuff. Make sure you join it. Uh, the link will be in my YouTube profile. And the other thing I want to tell you about is this six AI plus Golang projects uh, advanced course. So if you, these are all six um, projects which are production level projects. And this is 26 hours of content where you're building production level applications using AI at the core. In 2024, if you're looking for um, a promotion or a raise or looking to join a new job, uh, the recruiters are looking for AI in your CV, right? Building AI projects or building something productive by using AI. And this is the perfect uh, upgrade, okay? The link for this will be in the description and also in my YouTube profile. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.